Nearly every crime the Post Falls Police Department tries to solve has some kind of digital evidence. It could be deleted emails with clues to solving a robbery or photos hidden in a locked phone pointing to a crime. KXY 4's Caroline Flynn working for you with how new technology in the Post Falls Police Department may help solve crimes faster. And Caroline, there's only one detective trained on this new system and from the top security agency in the country. The U.S. Secret Service has a program for law enforcement that makes digital crime fighting a whole lot easier. And there is such a need for it nationwide that it can take years to get in. Any robbery, murder, or case of bullying has a digital element. Someone's either sent a text, installed a security camera, or kept a file on their computer. At Pulse Falls Police Department, there's one man who pours over it all. So it provides a lot of opportunity as a detective to try to, to solve these crimes, and that's, so that's why I like doing it. In the 12 years Neil Gurig has worked for Pulse Falls PD, his passion has become clear, solving cyber crimes. He's just returned from the National Computer Forensics Institute, the gold standard for training in digital crime fighting. And he's proud to show off what he's brought back. Uh, the biggest difference that we have now is the speed. And the equipment. Investigators who complete the training come back with $30,000 worth of tools that make it faster and easier to search for digital evidence that doesn't cost taxpayers a dime. But a routine checkup for Detective Urig almost cost him the opportunity. Get my blood work, come to work do my shift and on my way home my doctor says hey you may have leukemia you're going to the hospital the diagnosis threw his life and that training into uncertainty doctor said there was no chance he could go but he was determined this was something i've wanted to do for three years and i knew if i dropped out then that opportunity would probably be another three years out fortunately for him treatment required weekly blood work and a chemo like pill he got the clearance and completed the course two months ago. He will never stop taking that chemo pill, just like he'll never stop learning about the digital world. It's just a matter of time. I'd say give it six months and what I have here is going to be old. And so the, these systems, you have to stay with it because things constantly update. Now, because Detective Urig has gone through that five-week program, he can continue to go back and learn more advanced techniques, which he says he plans to do in the very near future. In the newsroom, Caroline Flynn, KXOI 4 News. Thank you, Caroline.